in golf. When it comes to scoring a birdie or an eagle, the drives typically got to have distance to get you on the green. And Sandra, you say that's not your strong suit. <laughs> Aaron knows all too well. well you had to play on a team. I'm afraid to play with you now. Do I, hit some little, do I hit some sarcasm here? <laughs> no, and not I, at all. But here's the deal. I found out that it's not all about your arms. You know, I'm pretty arm heavy. I thought, mm -hmm. oh, I'm strong. Arm well, heavy. No. By that, she means muscle. Anyway, <laughs> it's really about your wrist. And here's how you can drive the ball further. I need you to relax your hands a lot more okay. because your hands are really tight. Mm -hmm. If your hands are relaxed uh -huh. and your wrists can move, uh -huh. that's a really efficient lever. So with this tidbit, we practice with the club turned upside down. Here's how you can practice. You're going to make a little swoosh at the bottom. See how loose my hands oh, yeah. are? Uh -huh. And then kind of over my left shoulder. So you should be able to hear it a little bit. Did you hear it there? Uh -huh. And to get that swoosh, it really is all about relaxing the wrist. As we get older, we want to be really loose here. It's a wonderfully efficient lever that will give you speed and distance without a lot of effort. One mistake I was making, swinging too deliberately. You should set up slowly, but not swing slowly. I want you to swing as fast as you can without falling down. I know that sounds crazy, but swinging slowly, there you go, will make it go shorter. So I tried it. See the difference? That is such a difference. See how much farther that goes? That is great. Yeah, that yeah. Is exciting. That is, you're right. right. It's fun.